what's up? It's Christina from the Backstage Artist Lounge. You're watching Real TV Films. We're at South by Southwest with Firefly Vodka and Vita. And now I'm hanging out with the singer of Oh No Not Stereo, Skylar Nielsen. Hello, Christina. Hi, Skylar. How's it going? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Very well. You've done a couple years of South by Southwest, right? This is our sixth year. Wow, so. you're a pro. You couples. So how has this year been different than the others? Um, honestly, I've had more fun this year. And I've seen more like interesting bands, more entertaining bands this year. I feel like we're more in tune with what to expect. We're, I mean, it's it's you know, it's it's something that you have to go into knowing what to expect in order to make the best outcome from it promotionally. And we've been going out, hustling the streets. You have so many fun promos. You are on like a sticker like mission. Your stickers are everywhere. I'm in random cities and I see Oh No Not Stereo stickers all over the place. This is the first tour we've done without a tour manager as well. And no merch guy or merch girl, so it's just the three of us in the band and we're doing everything that we can to, to get our name out there. That's you know what independent bands should be doing in my opinion. Just maximizing their efforts and yes. trying to you know, generate the best possible outcome for yeah. an opportunity like this. It's you and you see and Mike, and Mike in the band. Yeah. Um, and I know you guys have just an amazing lifestyle and just uh, fun times uh, recording and writing. So tell us a little bit about what it's like to be in the Ono Not Stereo with these guys. We definitely have a lot of fun. That's one of our you know points on our mission statement is we have to have fun. We're not going to ever surround ourselves with any, you know, Thing that will bring us down or make us discouraged or you know and we we work our asses off for this band and it, it's it's good to see that like independent bands can actually have a story to tell and a legacy without depending on a major label or without you know depending on anything other than what you generate for yourself so we you know we've always taken a lot of pride in being independent and making sure that no one's making decisions for us other than ourselves and yeah, you're we, relentless. It's through having fun, and it, it's it's a thumbs up situation. You know, we can't ask for a better, honestly, a better team with yeah. just the three of us on this tour. So yeah. it's it's a change, but it's a good thing. You guys had a tagline a couple years ago, like "Do whatever you want." Tour. Do you still have that? Or that is there a new tagline? There's always new taglines. You can't just you know call you can't call the same tour, or you can't call two different tours the same thing. Right. But, uh, you know, like I said, our, our motto, our mission statement is like, let's be the best guys we can consistently and, and do as much as we can. And That's true. So you play a lot of different instruments. Can you tell us some of the different instruments that you play besides singing as well? Uh, me and Mike are the two songwriters in the band, and me and him play, you know, all the instruments that it takes to record the records. And uh, we've, you know, we've always kind of like based our band around that so we can have other people like we have UC now in the band who's an amazing guitar player and he, he does he allows me to be more, more focused on the rhythm or the piano on stage and, um, but in the studio me and Mike really sit down like me and you are and say all right we need to do this piano part who's gonna play it you know who can do it better who do you think will fit the, the vibe the best yeah. and like so piano guitars drums you yeah. have it all yeah. so and with bringing other people in and in, in the band as well it's, it's good to like say hey we we would like you to be a multi-instrumentalist, you know, ideally, and be able to sing and have the uh, the versatility that, that we kind of require at this point. You know? Yeah, it's true. So what do you consider success for Oh No Not Stereo? Where do you see the band going in the next couple of years? Man, this, this tour has refreshed my definition of success for an independent band, honestly. It showed me that we can own our product 100%. We can license and publish all of our music ourselves and still do it non-exclusively. We can put ourselves out there on the streets in any city. We can we can ruthlessly and, and I mean, it's, it's a relentless cycle that we put ourselves in of, of promoting our band and getting our music out there and just putting free music in people's hands. Everybody likes free shit. Skylar Nielsen, thank you for sharing a little bit more about your music with us. Thank you as well. Um, check out the band Ono oh Not Stereo. To know them is to love them. And you're watching Real TV Films. We're at South by Southwest with Firefly and Vita. And I'm Christina from the Backstage Artist Lounge. Thank you guys so much.